What's going on people, Shana Mandras here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a DIY video. So in today's video, we're going to be taking off my diffuser. Um, if you guys look here, you can see that there's like a nice, I don't know what you call it, it's just a, a grey like, it's got like a bit of like a sandy-ish type feel, rough feel to it. But obviously, I'm going to be changing it to like a gloss blacky type colour. Um, I've never done this before, so it's new to me. Um, hopefully, we get the best finish, but there's no guarantee. But yeah, the steps are quite simple. So I popped to Halfords. I got primer, lacquer, and gloss black paint. I think it came to about 30 pounds, and then sandpaper as well. I'll link everything in the description because some YouTubers, when they're like explaining things, I don't feel like they link it properly. But yeah, um, everything should go well. Um, and yeah, that's it. Just got to prep it and stuff. Should take around an hour to do, but. I'm looking forward to this van because I know it'll make a big, big change to the car. Obviously, I still need to put diffuser on it as well, but before I put that on, I think I should spray it gloss black. But yeah, um, steps quite easy and simple. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe as well. Um, sorry about the past video as well that I did. Um, some people didn't make it to the ratings and stuff. Literally, I was editing and then I realised that half of my footage had been deleted. It was just a bit weird, man. But yeah, um... This video should be much better. Hopefully nothing gets deleted. But yeah, hope you hopefully you enjoy the video. But yeah, before we start this video, today we have a sponsor. So guys, today's sponsor is from a guy called Stan Sutansu. They sent me a cool, cool sticker. I'm not sure what this means. Even though I'm Chinese, I probably should understand it. But yeah, now they've got a really, really cool sticker. Um, make sure you hit them guys up. They do custom stickers as well. Uh, really, really cool. And yeah, um, thanks so much Tansy for the stickers and stuff. Really, really appreciate it, bro. And yeah, make sure you drop them a follow. And yeah, um, this looks really cool my car and I will be rocking this. Guys, so to jump start this video, basically, my jack broke that I got for my, um, well, I got for Christmas, unfortunately. But the good thing about Aerod is that I can basically lift my car up like that. So I actually need to get to the back of the car. So what I'm going to do now is bag the front, raise the back so I can get underneath the car and hopefully take off the diffuser. Also, I'm not going to be spraying here. I'm going to be spraying at home. I'm just here because I haven't got a driver, unfortunately, just to show you guys how to take off the diffuser. So simple. Literally, I've got one screw, but you look, probably have four screws, one screw, and then all of it's just clipped in. And yeah, let's get into this video, man. So the front down, back raised, might be a bit loud as well. I forgot my speaker at home, so the quality of my voice won't be that good. I'm not a good user, man. I keep forgetting things. But yeah, if you come in here, guys, I've actually taken up my seat. I've been uh, cleaning and stuff. But yeah, so um, as I said, I haven't got a jack or anything. But yeah, um, what I'm doing now, if you look at my car, um, I'm gonna use these mats to place them down, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So obviously, I don't wanna be dirty, so I'm gonna place one here, one there. So obviously, when I go underneath the car, I'm gonna be touching the dirty floor. So to take off this diffuser, um, I'm using a Mallorca uh, wrench um, that I got for my birthday. Was it my birthday? No, I got it to Christmas, a Mallorca wrench. You can just use um, a tool, like a normal like a spanner or whatever. I think that's what it's called, but also, you will need, um, you will need a spline set. This is what a spline set looks like. So to take off the diffuser, I'm going to be needing, I think it's, yeah. So I'm sure you guys know what this is when it fixes. This will take off the diffuser. I'm obviously only needing one size because it only comes in one size screw. But yeah, I'll link a description in this set. I'm sure you guys had this at home. But yeah, let's get into actually taking it off now. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a screw here. This screw here needs to come off. Don't think it'll focus. This screen needs to come off. And literally, once it's come off, um, everything should just clip off. Yeah, um, new investment. I need to get jack stands. Literally, look how close I am to the car. But yeah, I've got bags anyway, so <laughs> that's an advantage. But yeah, one screw for me. Um, you guys probably have other screws. Um, but yeah, once you've taken it off, everything else is just clipped in and it'll literally just pop out so easily. But yeah, enjoy the video of me uh, taking it off. I was literally just screwed in by one screw. Obviously, if you guys look closely, I've got one exhaust here and one exhaust there. If you can see, it's been cut through, so obviously less screws. But yeah, 
Mine was held onto by one screw. You can see there, one little screw. Um, but yeah, if you look at the diffuser now, so we obviously need to prep it now. It's looking quite dirty and stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this home now, jet wash it, and then yeah, let's get it prepped, man. So I'm going to head back home, pack up, and yeah, I'll see you at my house. Heading back home now, guys. I forgot to tell you. Well, I did mention that my front seat's gone, but yeah, look, look how easy it is. So I've put the diffuser just there. No seat needed. No seat needed at all. But yeah, um, head home now, jet wash it, prep it, and yeah, I'll show you guys how to spray your diffuser gloss black. Back at home now, guys. Ready to start spraying. And yeah, man, um, this is gonna look banging. Like it's my first time, but I believe in myself. And you know what? At the end of the day, I feel like going to body workshops and stuff isn't the way forward. I feel like it's good to learn to do your own stuff. Obviously, I wish I could repair dents, scratches on my car. My car'd be looking bang all the time. Not that experience, but little parts like the fuses, splitters, just little parts in your car. I'm sure you, you're capable of doing it, like me. But yeah, enough of me talking. Let's jump into this video. So the first step that I'm going to be doing today is jet washing the diffuser. Um, come a bit down here. You can see how dirty it looks. You've got flipping marks here. Even on the inside as well, there's like a bit of sticky stuff here. I'm not too sure what that is, sorry. Yeah, might be that. I don't know what that is. But yeah, jet wash it. Um, don't, if you haven't got jet wash, don't worry. You can just use like a sponge or I don't know, just an alternative, soapy water, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna jet wash it down. And then yeah, once you jet wash it down, we can start getting it sanded. And yeah, let's jet wash this down, man. Shouldn't take too long. So once you've jet washed the diffuser, <laughs> I had to take my time on it, about 10 minutes. What you want to do is get a microfiber cloth and just wipe it down nicely, make sure it's nice and dry, so then it's ready to be sanded and sprayed. So guys, I have now jet washed it down and uh, obviously wiped it down with a cloth. Make sure, obviously, this is the main bit that we're gonna be um, spraying. Don't worry too much about it inside. Don't know if you guys can see from here, inside's got a couple marks and stuff. Don't bother about that, it's the outside we want sprayed. You're not gonna be seeing the other side, are we? So yeah, wipe it down with a microfiber cloth, make sure everything it's nice and uh, dry, and then yeah, time to start sanding, boys. Okay guys, so now what you wanna do is grab your sandpaper. So I'm gonna put a link in the description of what sandpaper I got from Harford's. Obviously, the actual diffuser has a bit of like, I don't know what you call them, like little dots on it. So you don't wanna sand it down too, too um, hard. Just lightly, lightly little sand. Wherever the scratch and stuff, sand it down nice and smooth. And then yeah, sand it down. I would recommend wearing gloves. Sand it down. Should take about what five ten minutes, and then yeah, we have to spray then. So yeah, sand it down, wash it off again, and then yeah, you'll be ready to spray. You can see as I'm sanding everything down, I'm not pressing too too hard on it. Um, you just want to go lightly. Obviously, I'm not sure what them little grains are, but yeah, you don't want to press too light because if that goes smooth, it'll just mess it all up. So just sand it down. Should take about five ten minutes, and then yeah, once you've done that. We should be ready to spray. This is the end job. Um, I've sanded it down and uh, jet washed it again to get off all like the little pit bits and pieces that I've sanded down. So yeah, once you've uh, sanded it down, give it another jet wash, another little clean because you don't want to be spraying onto dirty stuff, do we? And then yeah, um, now we're gonna move on to plastic primer. We want to give it two coats of this, and then yeah, hopefully once them two coats are dry, we can move on to spraying it gloss black. Before you do start spraying the plastic primer, I would recommend just going over the diffuser again, make sure it's nice and um, dry, because you don't want any dirt or like any wetness on there. But yeah, go through it again, jet wash it off, scrub off whatever you're doing, and then yeah, we can then apply the grey plastic primer. I am messing it up a bit, but it's no worry, because um, anything that you do mess up, you can literally just go back and sand it down. But yeah, we're going to be applying two coats of this, so yeah, I've got to wait for the first coat to dry now, and then yeah. Once the first coat is dry, I'm going to apply the second coat, and then obviously you can move on to the gloss spray paint. Try not go uh, ballistic on the spraying though, like me. Just take it easy, you've got one can, that will literally last you the whole thing. But yeah, two coats of this, and yeah, just take it nice and easy, and yeah, on to the next step. So after applying the plastic primer, you need to apply another coat. Um, yeah, another coat, light coat. But yeah, make sure you don't overspray like me on the first coat. And then yeah, once you've done that, we can start spraying the gloss black paint on it. But yeah, let's start spraying again.
I'm not sure if you guys can see but if you look there I've obviously sprayed too much over spray so what I'm gonna have to do now is wait and then obviously sand it down with the sandpaper from Halfords I think there's a couple more as well uh, over here if you look closely there we yeah, had give it about 50 minutes and then yeah just um you can start sanding it down again grab your halfords um sandpaper sheets on the packaging it actually gives you a step by step on what to do so right now i need to obviously get the what is it i don't even know you know the 400 grit sandpaper and obviously sand down <clears throat> the overspray over here and there's a couple more on the other side, but yeah, what you want to do is just sand it down and then yeah, um, it'll be ready to prep to be sprayed. As you can see guys, I'm sanding down the diffuser now. Once you've sanded it down, then grab a microfab cloth, because obviously you want to wipe away all of the dust from the diffuser, because obviously you've oversprayed, and then obviously when you sand it down, there's going to be little pieces of paint. So yeah, once you've sanded it down, wipe it, and then obviously get your plastic primer and then spray it again, and then yeah, once you've done that, you'll be ready to spray your gloss black spray paint on it. I've applied my two um, coats of plastic primer. Now it's time to obviously apply the gloss spray paint. Obviously on this first coat, try and go quite light, but try and like, obviously the way I've been spraying is a certain way. I don't think all of us spray like that, but it's my own way of spraying. But yeah, apply the black coat. And then yeah, we're gonna be applying three coats. I think on the third coat, we'll see if there's any uh, overspray, sand it down, wipe it off a microfab cloth. But yeah, get your gloss spray paint ready now because we're gonna start spraying boys. So on the first coat, I'm spraying gloss black spray paint on it. Um, try and go over very, very lightly because you obviously don't want to overspray. We may need to sand down on the third coat anyways, but yes, spray over very lightly. Make sure you get all the corners and stuff. Don't worry about obviously going behind and getting all the bits that you won't see because they'll literally won't be visible. But yeah, try and get into all of the corners and stuff. And then yeah, we'll be on to our next coat soon. So guys, we're going to now apply the second coat. Um, on this coat, I would recommend going a bit more hard. Don't overspray though. Go a bit more hard. And then yeah, you'll start seeing some results. And it's actually going to be looking banging, trust me. As you guys can see, I'm applying the gloss black spray paint. I am going a bit ham, but it is what it is. It's looking banging. And yeah, just keep applying it. Make sure you get all the corners. As I said before, do not worry about getting like behind it and stuff because you're not going to be seeing it. Just get the main parts that are visible in the car. But yeah, keep spraying, um, wait for it to dry, and then yeah, if there's any like oversprays, we'll just come back to that and sand it down and then just spray again. But yeah, keep spraying. Hope you guys are enjoying it. So that was my third coat applied. I kind of did mess up a bit. Um, you can see there I messed up and um, yeah. It's looking good, um, but yeah, I'm gonna see how it looks after this third coat. And then after the third coat, yeah, um, I guess we'll be done. Just sand it down a bit. And then obviously you've got to apply the lacquer clear as well. But yeah, after that, it should be looking banging. So guys, that is my, well, no, let me start again. So guys, I'm gonna be applying my fourth coat now. Um, once you're done with that, we're gonna then be applying the clear coat as well. Um, what was I gonna say? So when you're applying the fourth coat, try and go over it quite like hard and make sure you get all of the corners and stuff because this is basically your last coat. Unless there's any like oversprays and stuff that you might need to go over and sand down. But yeah, we're gonna spray again. And yeah, almost done. Let's do this. As you guys can see, I'm applying my fourth coat now, going over it quite heavy and stuff, just making sure I cover all the corners, and yeah, so it can re recall. -re -cool. This is going to make a big, big difference when obviously I put it back on and stuff. And then yeah, when I obviously apply the diffuser and then obviously the rain light as well, it will all hopefully come into place and it really, really cool. But yeah, keep spraying, make sure you cover all the corners and stuff, and yeah, that's literally the diffuser almost sprayed. take it to professional um, spray painters and shit so yeah just follow the steps in the video that I sent and then yeah basically the whole video flopped and I just got bad luck at the moment but yeah okay guys so long story short so when I was actually painting the diffuser um, the day we painted it you know the last step the clear coat so what happened was 
the can split so the clicker went everywhere I tried to survive well not survive I tried to revive it and stuff it just didn't work then what happened was obviously I knew that it weren't right I left it on the car the, um, well I put the fuse back on the car I didn't actually screw it in because obviously it clipped in quite well and now I'm driving on A406 towards my dad's and then it falls off so it falls off uh, when did it fall off? around 7pm and then on my way back I was like to myself you know what I'm going to go back around 1am and try to get it luckily I got it as you can see in the last video that I just put up then I took it to a professional bodywork guy I said can you fix this for me mate because it's just fucked and yeah here's the result of what he did so if you go around to it as you can see this is now coming out there's a crack in it a big crack in it if you actually look at the bodywork it's terrible like Look, you can see, oh, it's just disgusting. So it's a big, big setback for me right now. The whole diffuser is just, it just keeps clipping out. Like, I can clip it back in, but it will just come out. And whenever I'm driving now, it just, it just keeps coming out. So I'm going to need to order a whole new one of these and obviously cut a whole new, like, thing. So obviously I've got two exhausts, it comes in one. But yeah, the guy that did the bodywork, really, really bad job. Terrible job, man. I'm not going to say who he is, but really, really bad job. And yeah, big, big setback for me now. Um, and yeah, that's basically what happened. And that's why I haven't really been uploading because I've been a bit depressed with this. Um, I haven't uploaded for like a month now. But yeah, that's the real story of what happened to my car and what's going on right now. So right now I'm trying to find a new diffuser, get it cut, put it back on, spray it again. I'm spraying it myself again. And yeah, that's it. Um, another video flopped. Sorry guys. <coughs> lots of videos coming for you guys and stuff and yeah um that's it really um thanks for watching do follow the steps though because the steps do work it's just the can flipping um it broke man it split and spilled everywhere but yeah follow the steps guys and that was literally it man this is a wrap for the video i'll be consistent again guys i promise just, i'm never gonna have a break like this again i was just really depressed with this man like it's, it just annoys me and when you pay someone to do something and they can't do it properly it just annoys me even more luckily I didn't pay the guy I told him look bro like I'm not happy with this job didn't pay him and yeah now I've got to go spend another 150 on a new one now it's just like my pockets are getting emptied and emptied but yeah guys um, that's a wrap on this video hope you enjoyed it follow the steps if you, any, if you have any questions just give me a DM or comment down below and yeah see you in the next video guys